welcome back to my channel guys in this video I will show you how to prepare cargo oil pump turbine in a crude oil tanker so first guys two generators should be running in parallel then start auxiliary boiler in low mode as you can see I'm opening slowly the main steam stop valve of the auxiliary boiler so before operating this valve the warm up valve should be open first slowly right now I'm closing it so at this moment guys we have to check all the involved valves before starting the pump so this is the IG scrubber pump and this is the outlet of the vacuum condenser and this is the vacuum condenser cooling seawater pump right now I'm starting it so this is the pump and this is the inlet of the condenser and this is the outlet of the condenser we have to open it all guys before starting the pump then we have to start the lube oil priming pump of the cargo pump just put it in automatic mode to priming the cargo oil pumps bearing before starting the cargo pump then open the exhaust valve of the turbine and right now i crack open the bypass valve or the warming valve of the main copt valve and then we have to open the inlet and outlet of the lube oil cooler and then we have to check the oil level of the cargo pump sump tank so it should be at the working limit or the specified working limit of the cargo pump as you can see guys steam is coming out from the drain so the important thing here is the system should be free of any water so right now I am opening the cooling of the air ejector condenser and this is the outlet of the air ejector steam so this is the vacuum gauge of the vacuum condenser so steam is coming out from the drain the important thing guys we should always remember that the system should be free from water this is the safety measures of preparing the cargo oil pump turbine so these are the drain line we must ensure that no water in the system for safety reason so that is the warming valve of the cargo pump these are the drain line as you can see guys you must ensure that only steam should come out before starting the cargo pumps and this is the gland steam or the ceiling steam of the turbine at about 0.3 bar setting so these are the drain line and right now I'm opening the inlet and outlet of the dumping valve to the condenser so we have to set the dumping valve at about 14 bar so at this point I am slowly opening the driving steam of the air ejector condenser just crack open we have to open full as soon as the vacuum condenser is on load or the dumping started so as you can see guys the vacuum should be established at this point before starting the cargo pump so the governor oil should be checked should be at the specified working limit so this is the copt inlet steam and this that is the bypass valve of the inlet then we have to rotate the cargo pump shaft by hand using the bar if it rotates freely 
so that is the coupling of the cargo pump which connect the turbine side and the pump side which is located in the pump room then we have to start the condensate pump and just check the pressure of suction and discharge and then check the three way valve positioner of the condensate pump which directs back to the condenser and then to the hot well or the cascade tank so this is the gauge glass of the condenser the vacuum condenser and right now I am ensuring that no water in the system yeah, to fully drain the system with water and only steam should come out from the drain before starting the cargo pump so at this point guys no more water and only steam is coming out from the drain so we have to close all the drain valves then slowly open the warming valve or the bypass valve of the COPT main line when opening the steam valve guys you should open it very very slowly to avoid hammering or for safety reasons once the bypass valve is fully open then we will open slowly the main steam valve of the cargo oil pump turbine as you can see guys how i opened the valve this valve must not be operated until unless the bypass valve or the warming valve is fully open so this is how to operate the valve guys just to open it millimeter by millimeter very slowly so this is the normal practice of operating every steam valve is to open it very slowly so right now it is fully open then we have to set the engine room steam reducing valve from 16k to 6k pressure so i'm setting it at 6.2 bar coming from the auxiliary boiler the system here uh, is that we have composite boiler which is 7k as you can see the positioner is start opening after that we have to prepare our oxygen analyzer so that is already switch on just to open it to the sample gas but before that this oxygen analyzer should be calibrated in every operation so this is the scrubber tower and as you can see there is pressure and right now i'm starting the auxiliary feed pump of the boiler and the boiler is now working at the high load as you can see it is in the igs mode in which that our cargo pump is in standby and ready for starting this is the control panel of our auxiliary boiler guys so until here guys i hope you learned something about this video and if you are interested about marine engineering please don't forget to hit like share and subscribe and please don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be updated on my upcoming video guys so this is jb23 vlog stay safe everyone thank you for watching bye bye